Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Norma J. I am not you new to YouTube, but I am new to um, doing makeup videos. But I wanted to jump on and just chime in because I'm 48. <laughs> so this is gonna be the first 48, how about that? But I'm 48 and I love watching uh, YouTube and learning about makeup and different techniques and different uh, makeup styles and you know routines and different things like that. But I really have a difficult time seeing people that are my age. And so I wanted to jump on and just maybe shoot something to kind of show um, how this makeup wears on people who are in the, you know, almost 50 category or, you know, at the century mark like myself. And so I wanted to just jump on and actually do some reviews of some things that I found. Because what I do is I watch YouTube, you guys do a uh, makeup a review and I go out and get the makeup. like. It's not even a question. Uh, I have so much makeup in this room, you would not believe. And it's just because I look at uh, reviews, but sometimes I feel like it doesn't really go with what's going on with my skin. So hopefully if there are, you know, ladies that are in my age group or fellas who are in my age group who are wanting to try uh, different brands and different makeups, then hopefully I can help you make some of those selections. So hold on, I'm going to get started with my first makeup review and I'm actually gonna start today with the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Professional Makeup Full Coverage Foundation. So this is what I'm gonna be reviewing in just a moment. And let's see how this stands up to the first 48. All right, stay tuned. All right, so we're back and I've washed my hands. I always wanna make sure you sanitize these infection controllers right here before you apply any makeup. So I just finished washing my hands, made sure I have my hand sanitizer present. And now I'm just gonna go in, um, I've moisturized as well, and I'm gonna go in and use the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Perfecting, Anti-Aging Perfector, because I told you I'm 48, so I'm trying to do everything that I can to uh, abate those wrinkles coming in way too early, so. I am prone to that just genetically. So I wanna just make sure I go in and protect uh, my skin as much as I possibly can. As you can see, I have very dark circles underneath my eyes. So I really do love a full coverage foundation and that's what I seek out because I wanna do as much work on the front side as possible. I usually go in and actually um, conceal my under eyes just because they're so dark and I need that extra protection before I put in a foundation. But because we're doing a review of how this foundation is gonna work, I'm actually not going to um, put on any concealer. I'm gonna test out the foundation just the way that it is. So uh, before I do that, I'm going to use one of my favorite primers, which is the Milani Prime Perfector. And I'm going to go in, it's actually called Prime Perfection Face Primer. And it's oil-free because I have combination skin I try to use things that are oil free um, just because I am 48. I get high flashes. These uh, water spots start bubbling up on my nose. It could be 20 degrees outside and I got a uh, face full of sweat. So I really want to make sure that um, things are oil free because I get dry sometimes, but I can definitely get oil. It's oily. All right. So. All right, got the face primer in. So let's get into this foundation. So the color that I'm in is called Sienna, or that's the color that I, I bought to try out. Uh, I'll probably go back in and get some more shades because I think this is just a little bit too light, uh, but I'm gonna try to make it work uh, just so that I can show you how it performs on the older skin types because some of you younger beauties, like there's you don't have to do a whole lot some of us older, more seasoned chickens gotta go in and really put some work in. So I'm gonna actually be using a beauty blender. I'm gonna put a little bit um, on with my finger um, because I this is how I usually apply foundation, but I'm gonna try with the blender and if it doesn't work out either way, then I will switch over to my brush, which is uh, what I've been doing lately. So let's go in with a couple of pumps and get it in, all right. And I'm a bit generous with the foundation um, just because I feel like, you know, if I'm going to really get the coverage that I'm thinking I should get, then I really have to put the foundation on, right? 
So I'm gonna go in and just make sure that I'm getting this blended in well. So I'm just using a damp and beauty blender here. And it's really, really nice and smooth. I love the way it feels. I don't feel, and it doesn't really smell makeup y, which I love because I hate when makeup smells. Or if I can smell the makeup, like, ugh. It doesn't necessarily stop me from wearing the makeup, I just don't like to smell it. And I've got makeup on my brows. I'll fix that later. But we just want to see how this makeup is going to do on the first 48. And I love that show, but people laugh at me when I say that about my age. I am actually not quite 48, but I'm only a few months away. So I always say that I call myself the first 48 but it's okay if the lord blesses i will wake up in a few months 48 years here on this side of heaven so i'm good with that my daughter is 27 she lives in la i live in texas and i miss her but yep uh -huh. So, we have it on somewhat, and I actually really like it. Um, you can see here that it has actually covered quite significantly, and the viewfinder is different than my mirror here. On my mirror, it really does look like it's doing the job. And I think on the viewfinder, it really doesn't look, you can't really give it the just as you do on on, in the mirror so to me it looks really really good what do you think mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more because it is build buildable coverage uh, I'm gonna give you all the specs down in the description um, I think sometimes you know everybody knows I'll put the price um, the amount that the um, total fluid ounces you get one fluid ounce I think I paid about um, 12 bucks for this maybe i put the the correct amount but i got it at ulta and i even got you know some money off with the coupon so it was really 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 affordable um but i'll put the price down in the description box as well as the specs and information that they give you on the foundation but this so far especially for the price point is absolutely excellent i'm going to add a little bit more just to build it up a little bit i'm just going to put a couple of pumps on the back of my and just put a little bit underneath my eyes where I said I have the most problem getting the coverage that I need. And like I said, I usually put in, I usually put concealer down before I apply my foundation. But just because I wanted to give the foundation a fresh look um, so you can see how it looks on us without anything added. All right, so this is what it looks like. Now, is it the absolute best foundation I've worn? No. Is it the worst? No. Will I wear it again? Absolutely. So for me, um, you know, especially because I'm very, very particular, I like um, for full coverage to cover, um, I really would say this is a pretty decent looking foundation. I'm going to go ahead and apply some concealer and put on the rest of my face. And then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts on how this is looking on the first 48. Hold on a second. Alrighty, so we are back and this is the finished look. Alrighty, so what do you guys think? Honestly, I think for the price point of this particular foundation, it's a go for me. I try to keep it very, you know, short and to the point, yay or nay. So for me, 
Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation is a definite yay. Um, the cost of the foundation, I need to make sure I had that correct. Sorry about that. The cost of the foundation was actually 15 bucks, but I got it at Ulta and I used the coupon. So that's why I believe I paid for about 12 bucks for it. So um, for that and the amount of coverage and how really nicely it looks, especially for the everyday wear, I think this is an absolute superb foundation to add to your collection. Um, I wanted to go ahead and read a few specs on it. Um, I'm gonna include this information in my um in my description but um, just for those of us who are a little bit older who can't necessarily do everything you young beauties can do I think this is one of those foundations for you know every day having to go to work having to you know take the kids out having to maybe go to a parent-teacher conference or just something where you you know going out with the hubby that night or your significant other and you want to just you know put on something real quick you don't necessarily want to get like super glammed this is a great foundation for that um, I think, you know, 15, 12 bucks is really a good affordable foundation. So it says in the description that this is a lightweight, waterproof and pigmented AF, I think that means a bad word. Our new Can't Stop, Won't Stop full coverage foundation hustles as hard as you do, okay? We're the first 48, this is 48 years of wear over here, so we definitely want something that works as hard as we do. This uh, comfy liquid formula comes in 45 flattering tones and when i tell you the tones of the different shades that they have it's really wonderful to see something like that in a foundation where there's you know some of the darkest shades i've ever seen in this particular uh foundation every creamy shade glides on smooth delivering matte coverage and color that stays true for up to 24 hours so i won't be able to tell you that part because i never keep my foundation on that long like i said um I'm 47, about to be 48 years old, so I don't wear foundation all day, but um, I do wear it to work. Um, I have a pretty hectic schedule. I do a lot in my day, and so I really do need my foundations to hold up, and I believe so far, this one is really, really good. Um, that's my opinion. I think that the Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Won't Stop NYX Foundation is a definite go. For those of us who are older and you're looking for something that's going to hold up for your skin and your skin types, if you are one like me, then definitely add this to your collection. All right, so that's my opinion. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like, um, if you want to continue to watch my journey as I grow through these different looks, uh, for those of us who are older, the older women um, or fellas who are, you know, wearing foundation, then, hey, subscribe, go on this journey with me, and I'll make sure to deliver an open and honest opinion for those of us who are out here spending our money, you know, just to make sure that we have a nice look. So thank you again, again, again for tuning in, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.